and welcome to my Frozen Shot by Shot Breakdown. I promised you guys a breakdown and you are getting one right now. If you haven't checked it out already, check out my reaction video for the first time I watched the trailer. It's pretty entertaining. So watch that, watch the trailer, then come back here and we will do the Shot by Shot Breakdown. So we open on the castle, pretty standard stuff. We've seen this castle, so there's not a lot to share. And then we see the runes. Now we saw these in the previous trailer. We already know they stand for elements and powers. For example, Elsa has ice powers, so there's some sort of ice power element. These runes were also displayed at the D23 Expo, which I recently went to and had an amazing time. And I took like a million photos in front of the runes. So if you want to, you can check out my Instagram, skyroberts underscore, while you're watching this video and follow me. Please. Lots of Disney content. <laughs> Now the next shot is of the nomadic Nofuldra tribe. Now I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's been confirmed that that is the name of the nomadic tribe. The girl running through it has been heavily speculated to be Anna and Elsa's mother. I was initially like not very convinced because she has red hair, this young girl, and the mother has like a dark brown hair. And I was just like, they're not the same, surely. But then I thought, what if her hair changed colour because she's lost her powers? We all know in Frozen 1 that Anna got that streak of blonde hair when Elsa struck her. So it could have a connection to her powers, like she had the red hair because she had wind power which links to the autumn leaves. And now she has dark hair because she no longer has her wind powers. Oh, if I'm right about this, I'm going to be very impressed with myself. Let's hope I'm right, fingers crossed. Now the next shot is young Anna and Elsa being told a bedtime story from their father and he's describing that he's seen an enchanted forest and then there's a flashback to him as a young boy. This hasn't been 100% confirmed but it's pretty obvious by the trailer. You'll see it. It's really obvious. So it's a shot of him as a young boy in the enchanted forest, presumably with his father and maybe some soldiers, and he meets this mysterious young girl, which we're presuming is the mother, playing in the wind with her wind powers. What a great first meeting. What an impression. <laughs> okay, the next sequence is an epic battle between the Nofolda people and the citizens of Arendelle. Having a battle with their sticks and swords, they're really going at it. I want you to pay attention to this man. This man is going to be important, so watch out. He shows up later in the trailer. Anyway, there's fire and then there's a mist that shuts the enchanted forest out from the rest of the world. And we were told this at D23, but this gives us a bit of a better visual to work with. Now the next part is cutting back to story time with young Anna and Elsa and their father. And Anna's like, wow, that was epic, because she's so cute. I love Anna so much. And then the mother walks out of the room looking all sad, and she looks out the window, presumably to where the enchanted forest is. We already know from a previous trailer that the mother was looking out the window towards the northern lights. So it's pretty heavily implied that the mother was the red-headed girl in the flashback, and that she was from the Enchanted Forest and she cannot return there, which is very sad because I presume she had a lot of family in that forest, which I will discuss later. The next part of the trailer has Anna and Elsa in the present day, snuggling up, telling each other how awesome they both are. So cute. This scene was actually shown at D23. Um, after um, they do this dialogue, there's a moment where Anna sings to Elsa a lullaby which their mother used to sing to them. So that was a really cute moment at D23. So it's really towards the beginning of the movie, this sequence, and it leads into a song, which we love songs. Songs are the best. In this shot here, Elsa is in a uh, mauve kind of lilac sort of dress. This has been confirmed to be the prologue dress. So this shot is right at the start of the movie. I presume she's hearing the voices in this shot. That's what it seems to be. So this is right at the beginning. Now this next part was also part of D23 when Anna is like, does Elsa seem weird to you? And Kristoff's like, she seems like Elsa. So this scene was actually part of a sequence where the whole group played charades and then Anna and Kristoff were left behind and Kristoff was actually trying to propose to Anna and he epically failed. <laughs> it was a really, really funny scene. I can't wait for you guys to see that one as well. So that was the gist of the scene. But the most important thing that I'd like to note in this scene is that there are 
two paintings behind Christoph. okay? One is of General Matthias, which is voiced by Sterling K. Brown, and the other one is the mysterious guy that was fighting earlier in the trailer. I think this guy is our villain. Look at that face. He's bad news. He, he looks like a villain. You can tell. He's bad. <laughs> The next lot of clips are from a song called Into the Unknown, which Elsa sings towards the beginning of the movie. I was so lucky I got to hear this song at the D23 Expo. It was such a good song. It was like, let it go on steroids. Just when you thought Elsa couldn't belt any higher, she brings it up the octave. It was amazing. If you guys want to hear a bit of this song, I'll link a video down in the description below of the Elsa dolls that have been released so far. And you can hear like a tiny, tiny little snippet, but definitely listen to that song. It's going to be the new Let It Go. You're not going to be able to hear enough of it really soon. <laughs> Okay, now we're flashing to present day Arendelle, where the kingdom is under attack by the mysterious pink fire and the leaves in the wind. Now, I kind of felt sorry for Olaf and Sven in this sequence. I feel like they're going to end up getting hurt a lot in this movie. Like, you saw me in the reaction video. Sven got blown away, and I had an emotional reaction. I was really worried. I was like, no, Sven. It was really funny, though. I think those two are going to get put through the ringer and really regret the day they decided to hang around with humans. It's going to be bad for them. Then Pavi the Troll says, The kingdom is not safe. I'm like, yeah. Sven and Olaf are getting hurt. <laughs> Boss Ben and Ola. It's fine though. And he shows a vision similar to the first movie where we have a bridge, an image of the soldiers and the tribe shaking hands, and then an image of them in combat. That bridge is going to make an appearance later on in the trailer, so stay tuned. Now we're on to my favourite part of the trailer, where Anna lists all the amazing things she has done. Now I am convinced that Kristen Bell convinced them to put this in the movie because she's probably sick of everyone preferring Elsa more. Even her own children, they made her dress up as Elsa for Halloween. I felt so sorry for her, because Anna's the best. If you're watching this Kristen Bell, I agree with you. Anna is the best. I'm on your side. Next, Elsa opens the fog because her power has no limits apparently. She can do anything at this point. She's the chosen one. And they are under attack by the soldiers of Arendelle which were trapped in there and the Norfuldra tribe. And Anna has this really cool ice sword. I want that sword. I would buy that sword. <laughs> I'd buy anything frozen really. In this part there are some completely new characters that nobody knew about before this. It wasn't even announced at D23. I was like, who are these people? Well, thankfully, they released a press release along with this trailer where they gave the names of these characters and a few details about them and who is playing them. So this lady over here, her name is Yelena? Yelana? I don't know. It's pronounced something along those lines. She's voiced by Martha Plimpton and she is the leader of the Nefuldra tribe. Now, I think she's gonna be Anna and Elsa's grandmother, for sure. She's got the braid and that would make Elsa the leader of everything. She's ruling Arendelle. She's ruling the Enchanted Forest. She's just dominating. She's dominating everything. So, good for Elsa. I think that will definitely happen. I mean, look at that plat. She's totally related to them. Now this girl here, her name is Honey Marin, and she's going to be voiced by Rachel Matthews. Apparently she's from Happy Death Day. I googled her, I've never seen that movie because I hate horror, but she's from that apparently. I think this character is going to be really cool. There's a lot of cool descriptive words for her in the press release saying she's bold and brave and free spirit, so I think I'm going to like this girl. This guy is Honey Marin's brother, Ryder. It says in the press release that he really likes reindeer, just like Kristoff. So I think this means we're going to get introduced to a whole lot of new reindeer characters, and I'm going to buy them all, and you're going to have a whole bunch of friends, Sven! <gasps> so exciting. Yes, I might buy 10 or 20 reindeer. Who knows? Who knows <laughs> how this is going to pan out? But thanks, Ryder. You're sending me broke. The other new character that we kind of already know about is General Mateus, voiced by Sterling K. Brown. He is from Arendelle, so he's not from the Norfolgia tribe. So he's one of the soldiers that served under Anna and Elsa's grandfather, which they shared at D23. So I presume he's leading these soldiers since they got separated from Arendelle, which is really sad. I mean, that would really suck. 
week. Now in this next part, they ask Elsa, where did she learn magic? Learn being the key word because we all know Elsa was born with the power. So obviously people in this enchanted forest learn magic, making Elsa even more unique than she already is because she was born with magic. So I think there's going to be an explanation that's going to be the whole idea of this movie. Now I absolutely love this next shot of Elsa jumping from pillar to pillar with her hair out. This is a really cool shot. I have a feeling this might be from a song. I really, really am looking forward to seeing the context. I have no idea what's happening, but it looks cool. I'm here for it. Now we're on to the ice canoe, which was my favorite part of the other trailer and I still love it. But if you guys look really closely here, you'll see that what looks like stone and rock is actually a sleeping rock giant. So poor Anna and Olaf are gonna get attacked by a rock giant. Olaf's been through enough already in this trailer. Poor little guy. So there's something going on here with the rock giants. So stay tuned. Next we see everyone's new favorite animal sidekick, Bruni. The, as soon as I saw this critter, I was like, this looks like it's related to Pascal. We already know that Tangled and Frozen exist in the same universe because Flynn Rider and Rapunzel attended the coronation. So these two are clearly related. Bruni and Pascal forever. Though Pascal must feel a bit threatened because Bruni looks pretty cute. He's apparently a salamander and Josh Gad tweeted out that we're gonna be obsessed with him. So I'm gonna buy him 100%. <laughs> the next part is Anna telling Elsa, don't run into fire, which is very, very good advice. I think we should all not run into fire. To think we all thought Elsa was wise telling Anna not to marry a guy she just met. Running into fire is pretty bad as well. Just saying. Next, we got a tornado attacking all our friends again. Sven is just getting tortured. Olaf's getting tortured. It's going to be a really hard movie for them. I can just tell. <laughs> Poor critters. Um, the next part is, again, another part of Into the Unknown. Same sort of thing. I mean, that shot is gorgeous. I mean, wow. Well done, animators. You are so talented. So talented. I can't even. Now, I loved this next bit. Sven running with all his reindeer friends. He looks so happy. Look at that face. That's just, that's just a joyful face. Oh, you can't beat that face. I'm so excited. I'm going to buy all the reindeer merchandise, as I've said before. And next we have a baby reindeer. A baby reindeer. Does it get any cuter than that? No, it doesn't get any cuter than that. I think that this little shot is when the fog closed the forest, some of the enchanted forest residents were left outside of the forest, including Anna and Elsa's mother. So this is her getting taken into Arendelle as like a refugee kind of situation. I think that's what's happening here. I'm probably wrong, but I'm guessing. I'm going for it. But I don't think this baby reindeer is Sven because Sven is not that old. <laughs> There is some dialogue in this section about Elsa potentially losing herself to magic and I think this is going to be one of the main themes of the movie. I think Elsa is going to become very consumed with her powers and her new life and friends in the Enchanted Forest and she's going to forget about Anna and Kristoff and Sven and Olaf and all her friends and give herself into the magic. I think that's going to be one of the main plot points. Okay, next, you will notice in this shot, that is the bridge that was spoken about earlier in the trailer with the troll's vision. So obviously this bridge is significant, no idea why, but it's significant. And the next sequence is just a whole bunch of stuff that we've kind of already seen before. We've got the nook, the water horse, and we've got the rock giants, and we've got a bit of the sequence that we saw from the first trailer of Elsa trying to cross the sea. So it's a lot of the same stuff that we've already seen. Not a lot to add there. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I'm so insightful. <laughs> Okay, so after the Frozen logo flashes, we've got a little comic relief from Olaf doing what he does best, making us laugh, saying is putting us in mortal danger going to be a regular thing, and then he gets attacked 
by all the elements. Poor guy getting attacked again. And I mean, look at that face. That is the face of my inner panic. That should be a gif. I'm going to use that every time I'm stressed. I heard a lot of people saying this proves Olaf is going to be super annoying this movie. How dare you? Olaf is a Disney treasure and he's amazing. That's it for the trailer breakdown. If you liked this video, please like it and comment down below any further thoughts on the trailer. Also, please subscribe to my channel. That would be so amazing. I'm going to be talking about all things Frozen 2 for the next two months. So if you don't want to miss a video, make sure to subscribe. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye!